Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. Hey there, Trailer Park fans! It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to Trailer Park Christmas 2015. I'm just getting some things set up here for our craft day, which is the fifth day of Trailer Park Christmas. I'm doing a video every day until December 25th, and I'm so excited to spend the holidays with you. Everyone loves Trailer Park crafts, and they certainly do make great gifts too, especially when you're on a budget. But what I'm doing now is getting things set up to make our star light ornament crafts and these are starlight mints and we've all seen restaurants they have these up in a bowl and you can sneak a few have a friend sneak a few in their pocketbook and out the door you go and you'll be on your way making these cheap and easy ornaments to give as, as gifts this holiday I'm so excited to show you how to make them up next on the trailer park Christmas 2015 and I'll be right back in just a moment Okay, and we're back. We're going to get ready to make our starlight ornaments. And I've got a baking tray here. And I put some parchment paper down at the bottom. And I've got some metal cookie cutters here. Now, you don't want to use plastic ones because that would be a mess. This is going in the oven. And what we're going to do is, um, what you need is just some smaller ones. And I've got a star here and another star and a snowflake. And we first need to take some cooking spray and we just are going to spray out the center here so that they pop out pretty well here. There we go. It's okay if you make a mess. Spray, 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 spray. And get this one too so that they pop out of there pretty good. And... Now what we're going to do is, I've already unwrapped some of the Starlight Mints. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start placing them into the little areas of the cookie cutter. Just like that. Now, this could be some trial and error. You could be making some of these for a while until you get some perfect ones. And that's okay because these are, well, I took these from the um, restaurant. So, um... That's going to be a cheap and easy way to make a gift this year. But you're going to put them side by side. And what's going to happen is, is I preheated the oven to 350 degrees. And we've got that going. And what we're going to do is pop them in the oven in just a little bit. And that's where it's going to be a key of um, keeping an eye on them. Because they're going to melt in this cookie cutter and we can just kind of push that one down in there so that it makes a nice little there we go and depending on how thick they are um you can make sure that they're thick part here let's see you want them flat just like they got there we go just wiggle them all in just like they got Maybe take one out of that one because that one's going to melt down just like that. So let's just put, let's try four in that for now. And like I said, it might not work in that one yet. Um, we might have to figure out the pattern, if you will, to make that turn out perfect. And just putting that in there just like that. And once you have them all centered in there, there we go. All right, it just takes some working around until you find that they're all in there. There we go. Let's just do, let's do three in this one and see what happens. Let's see if that happens. Well, actually, that looks like it might need a little bit more, so we'll do four. Or actually, let's put five in there, because that's going to have to melt over there to the side there. There we go. All right. 
So now what we're going to do, now that we have them in the cookie cutters, we're going to pop this in the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes. You're going to have to keep your eye on it and watch it melt. So you have to check on it back and forth. But uh, what we're going to do is make sure that they melt down just a little bit and um, fill the cookie cutter. And then we're going to take them out. So keep an eye on it and set your timer and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, and we're back, and what I did is I put a loaf pan up on top because they started leaking out a little bit, and I'm hoping that these turn out just fine, but as you see, they've melted in the cookie cutter, and what I'm going to do is just keep this on there, and I'm hoping that I can just break off those pieces once it actually um, is hardened again. What you're going to need is like a stick or a skewer or a toothpick. And when they start getting hard, you're going to start poking a hole up in the top so you can tie a ribbon in the top. So you're going to have to start squiggling a hole in a spot in there to put that ribbon hole. So we're going to do that in just a bit because they're way too hot right now. Be careful. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself or your trailer with a craft project. It's not worth it. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, and we are back with our Starlight Ornament Craft, and I'm going to use less cooking spray next time, and what I'm going to do is just kind of pick off these side pieces while they're in there to keep it like the pattern of the cookie cutter, and there we go, and I'm just going to get a paper towel, and I'm going to just blot it a little bit because we used a little bit too much cooking spray in this one. And we're going to do that. It'll be just fine because it's all edible if you really wanted to eat it. And we're just going to pry it loose just like that. Just push it out of the cookie cutter. There we go. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. That's going to look so pretty on the tree. Just kind of wipe that cooking oil right off just like that and it'll be just fine. And, you know, some people want to spray it with some kind of shellac, and that's okay. You could probably figure out one that won't ruin it. But it's just fine, just like this, hanging on the tree, because it'll smell like peppermint. Look at that. And we put the hole right there in the middle. And you could use any kind of, I don't know, ribbon or um, floss or... But today I'm using some silver here, and I'm just going to tie it at the top. There we go. And this is just going to look so lovely on our Christmas tree this year. And just think that the restaurant free candy bowl made you a gift. Look at that. People will be so proud. Oh, well, careful. They're fragile. They might break. So there we go. And look at that. That is ready to hang on the tree. That is so pretty with the starlight ornament craft and you can do that real simple and that didn't take no time at all and if you do it with kids just make sure that they're safe and that's going to look pretty on my Christmas tree. Wow that was an easy craft. If you get a chance to make one go ahead and send me pictures at jolenesugarbaker at gmail.com don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. And, of course, download the free calendar at trailerparkchristmas.com because we're doing a recipe or a craft every day until the 25th. And I see that tomorrow is chocolate cherry bread. That sounds really great, and that makes a great gift, too. Wow, I love spending the holidays with you all. I hope you all are enjoying Trailer Park Christmas 2015. I'll see you back tomorrow. Don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button. Tell your friends about Trailer Park Christmas 2015. And I'll see you back tomorrow. I love you. Bye bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Fun pride in the double wide. Store.com.
spent the holidays, the trailer park away.